set data structure now before that we should know what is set all the elements in a set are distinct suppose we have a data say 1 2 3 5 okay so all are distinct all the elements are homogeneous that means a b c d or 2.5 3.5 6.0 3.9 all are floating point values so but all are same type okay so it is integer type it is character type these are floating point type all the uh, ordering of the elements is not important that means so a b c d or if it is b c a d both are same thing the ordering is not at all important okay but uh, there is a difference there is another part that is called back back so in set all the elements are distinct but in back all the elements are not distinct so uh, if the value is if the data is a b c d then all are all the values are uh, all the characters are distinct then it is called set but if it is like that a b a c p here repetitions are there 2 a's 2 b's c then it is called back okay now uh, some uh, some basic operations are there already you know that is union okay so union means suppose uh, uh, set a set a is equal to 1 2 3 4 and set b is equal to 3 4 and 5 then a union b is equal to 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so uh, we can see by venn diagram also we can explain next intersection intersection is what a intersection b is the output is 3 and 4 the common part that means <coughs> intersection means not only the common part next difference difference is what a minus b okay so or a minus b that means we have to remove the common part so the output will be what 1 and 2 and if it is b minus a output will be only the 5 because the 3, 4, 3 and 4 is the common part so from a we have to remove 3 and 4 because 3, 3 and 4 are also part of the b and if it is b minus a we have to remove 3 and 4 because 3 and 4 is a part of a also okay now what is subset next is subset so uh, subset is question uh, if a is a subset of p that means b is a bigger set and a is a smaller set that means if b is equal to say 1 2 3 4 and a is equal to 2 and 4 then a is a subset of b similarly if a is equal to a b c d and b is equal to say c then we can write b is a subset of a okay next is null set is there null set so null set means what no element is present so if a nothing is there we can write a is equal to 5 next cardinality so in cardinality say a is equal to say 1 2 3 4 so number of elements are 4 similarly if say b is equal to 2 and 3 then cardinality of b is 2 2 elements are there 
and finally equality of sets equality of sets so if a union b uh, sorry if a is a subset of b and b is a subset of a then then it satisfies the equality property now the question is how to store uh, set data how to store state in computer so there are three ways we can store so using list using linked list we can store using hash table okay using bit vector and using tree okay now we can see one by one suppose there is one set say one two three four that means if you use list or link list say link list then we can store this is for a okay one two three and four one two three and four similarly uh, we may use hash table to store suppose we have a data say a is equal to 11 31 42 41 and 62 then we can store like this way 0 1 2 3 okay now 11 mod 11 mod 10 is equal to 1 so here we can store 11 here so here 10 is a modulo function so we can take any value 11 next 31 so 31 mod 10 it is 1 so we can store 31 here next 42 so 42 mod 10 it is 2 so 42 then 41 we can store 41 here then 62 so you can store 62 here so in this way also you can store the set data next we may use big vector representation so there are the types where uh, instead of storing actual data we store the presence and absence of the data suppose there is an example suppose name or set is their name the name or names are Ram Kabir Monica Swati Rahul okay now we want to store the gender so we can put one uh, one for male zero for female okay so Ram is a male so put one Kabir male one Monica female zero Swati female zero Rahul male it is one so in this way we can use bit vector representation to store data set okay now uh, similarly we can use uh, this way also you can use the uh, set suppose we have a data say one two three four okay and we have a array starting from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 1 is there put 1 2 is there put 1 3 is there put 1 4 is there put 1 but 5 no 5 is there no 6 is there put no 0 is there put 0 okay so in this way also we can store uh, set information finally uh, tree representation is there through tree we can uh, we can say set the stair okay so we can just take one example suppose a set is there the values are 2 4 5 8 and 12 
okay now say 2 is a root where the children are 4 5 and 8 so in 5 it is 12 now set is one array is there 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay now in second second is the root so it's is it a, it is a root so in two, second index we store the number of node data present in this particular so 1 2 3 4 5 so here we put minus 5 so minus 5 means what 5 data are there now 4 the parent of 4 is 2 parent of 5 is 2 parent of 8 is 2 okay and parent of 12 and parent of 12 is 5 second 5 and remaining we may store a big negative number say minus 99 so minus 99 means what it is null nothing is there clear so we can take another example suppose we have a data say 3 5 okay and 2 and the structure is like that 3 then 5 and 7 and from 7 9 10 6 and it is say 2 then 10 11 12 13 14 so 3 is a root so how many data are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so uh, in 3 part it is minus 7 ok uh, th uh, 3 is a parent of 5 ok so here you put 3 here parent of 7 is also 3 parent of 9 is 7 parent of 10 is 7 parent of 6 is 7 and parent of 2 is 6 parent of 2 is 6 ok and rest are minus 99 so minus 99 means it is nothing but null or nothing is there it is empty 